thanks for watching my video today. Let's calculate this interesting integral, okay? So, which is our double integral, okay? So, evaluate double integral from 0 to 1 and 0 to 1 dx dy by square root of 1 minus x square into square root of 1 minus y square. So, our solution, let i go to our integral, integral from 0 to 1, integral from 0 to 1 dx dy by square root of 1 minus x square into square root of 1 minus y square. So, Directly, you can apply for x and y, right? But in the bar integral, we used to go by step by step only, okay? So, this integral, so let me say the first integral to be for, for x, right? x equal to 0 to 1, and second to be y, okay? y equal to 0 to infinity because our integral is with respect to dx and dy, okay? That's why the bar integral come out. So dx dy by square root of 1 minus x square, square root of 1 minus y square. Now let, let's do for y first, okay? Integral from x equal to 0 to 1, 1 over square root of 1 minus x square y. Why this is coming up? Because we are going to deal with our y, okay? dy, so in dy, so x is just like a constant, right? That's why coming out before that integral right so this is integral from y equal to 0 to 1 dy by square root of 1 minus y square and dx okay and we know that from the basic or from definition that the integral of 1 minus square root of 1 minus x square dx is sine inverse of x okay just apply here so i equal to integral from x equal to 0 to 1 1 over square root of 1 minus x square and this integral is nothing but sine inverse of y right from 0 to 1 dx so so x equal to 0 to 1, 1 over square root of 1 minus x square. Now apply them using fundamental theorem of integral calculus, okay? Sine inverse of 1, upper limit first, and minus sine inverse of 0, right? dx. And 1 is sine inverse of 1. Sine inverse of 1 is pi by, pi by 2, right? Because what value of theta to be 1? That is the meaning, okay? Sine inverse of 1 means what value of theta will give such that sine theta will be 1 so here theta will be pi by 2 right sine 90 degrees 1 right that's why sine inverse of 1 will be pi by 2 so that inverse okay therefore pi by 2 minus sine inverse of 0 is 0 because sine 0 is 0 right sine 0 is 0 here degree okay sine 0 is 0 meaning sine inverse of 0 will be 0 again okay pi by 2 minus 0 so pi by 2 minus 0 is pi by 2 since pi by 2 is constant so it will come out before the integral okay we are left with integral from x equal to 0 to 1 1 over square root of 1 minus x square dx right so which is same thing here sine inverse of x from 0 to 1 so putting the value sine inverse of 1 minus sine inverse of 0 which is pi by 2 pi by 2 minus 0 right which is pi by 2 minus 0 is pi by 2 so pi by 2 so pi by 2 into pi by 2 is pi squared by 4, right? So our integral is integral from 0 to 1, integral from 0 to 1, dx dy by square root of 1 minus x squared into square root of 1 minus y squared is pi squared over 4. So this is our integral, okay? This is our answer for our required integral. And that's it.